vidheads, I missed your beautiful filmmaking faces. I'm glad to be back with you guys. What I wanted to do was mainly get this channel in a position where it's not actually Sony camera centric. I don't want it to center around Sony cameras. I want it to be a channel where we all can actually come and have a community and actually feed off one another no matter what camera you have. We're talking about time lapse, how to import and edit in Premiere Pro and how to set your camera up to actually shoot your time lapse. Let's get it. Okay, people, what are we doing now? is we're actually shooting another time lapse. I've gotten kind of addicted to these time lapses since I've done a few. And I really love actually uh, incorporating time lapses with uh, slow motion. So right now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm in the process of this time lapse. As you guys know, time lapse is just pictures being taken on intervals, basically with a certain time limit between pictures. And ironically enough, that's what video is as well. That's why we have different frame rates, 24, 30, 60, 120. Basically it's telling you how many pictures being taken per second. Let me show you a little time lapse that I created in Chicago, hanging out with my wife. I love to actually mix the time lapse with slow motion. To me, it's a very nice contrast. First of all, let's go into the settings of the camera and get it set up for time lapse. Now, I'll be using the Sony A7S III, but the settings are pretty much similar no matter what camera you're actually using. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your menu and for the A7S III, you wanna go to your camera and then you wanna go down to uh, number five, drive mode. And so whatever camera you have, you're gonna have a drive mode where you can actually select the drive mode of your pictures. So once you do that, you wanna go down to interval shooting function. Now you're gonna have a similar setting in your camera. An interval shoot function, you wanna turn it on, interval shooting. And then shooting start time, what that means is how long you want to set the camera after you push the shutter button for the time lapse to begin. Now shooting interval. Now this is important because in shooting interval, 
you want to make sure you understand how fast your subject is moving that you're trying to track with your time lapse. So like if it's clouds, just determine how fast the clouds are moving. Because if they're moving very fast and you set your interval to five seconds, then it's not going to look as smooth. So if it's the clouds are moving really fast, I like to go to like two seconds in my intervals. So this is something you want to play with and kind of get a handle for how fast and how things are going to look and how smooth they're going to do in your um, post editing. Now, number of shots here, I just normally set this to 9,999, but you can actually set it to do a certain number of shots. I just normally pick 9,999. That way I'll stop it myself when I'm finished. Now the AE tracking sensitivity, I have no idea what that is. I need to look that up. If you guys know what the AE uh, tracking sensitivity is, make sure you comment down below and let us know what that is. And if I had a shutter type and interval, I pick electronic shutter. You want to look at your aspect ratio as well. I want to go to file format and I pick JPEG. Now, if you want the ability to do both, then you will pick raw and JPEG. And that way you can take your raw files in the Lightroom. You know, you can actually manipulate the first image and then batch all the other images. But anyway, under file format, I use JPEG. My file is uncompressed. I find that 16 by nine is one of the best ratios to use. Well, that's it. That's how you set the settings up. So now let's look into how you import and edit in Premiere Pro. Okay, let me show you guys how to import your time lapse to where it's automatically gonna show up as a video for you. It's very simple and it's very easy. So first of all, you go to your project window, right click, and you wanna hit import. And basically you find your sequence. And so let me know here, you wanna make sure that each one of your time-lapse sequences are in different folders, because it makes it really easy to actually import here in Premiere Pro. So then you go to your folder where you actually have your sequence of the time-lapse you wanna import. And all you have to do is select the first image of the sequence of the time lapses. And then make sure you check at the bottom there where it says image sequence. That's letting Premiere Pro know that you have a sequence of pictures that's gonna come together and form a video. You just hit open and it automatically brings it in as a video sequence for you. And you can see that right in your project window. You can import it simple and easy, just like that. And you can edit it just like it was another video. So there you have it.
always, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. The analytics show that 95% of the people who actually watch my videos are not subscribed. So I would appreciate if you guys would subscribe. That will help me out with the YouTube algorithm and help get the videos out for people who can actually see them and benefit from them. As always, I'm Aaron Jones, I'm your big brother, and I got your back. Make sure you go out and you film something and kill it.